Hello and welcome to WYSIWYG Web Builder background tutorial this time. Uh, my name is Don Hatton, I am the SEO tutor and I'm doing lots of these tutorials as I learn stuff I'm going to pass it on to you. My website is the SEOprimer.com and I invite you to stop by there. If you do not have WYSIWYG Web Builder I recommend you get it. It's one of the greatest web building programs there is. Very easy to use. I mean if I can learn it anybody can. Let me get on and show you now how easy it is. We're going to show you how to make a background similar to this one right here today. And let's just go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to need a new page. So let's open up a new page. Here we go. Let's open up page properties now. We want to open formatting page. And we want to go and select our background color. This is going to be the main color for the site. And let's do a shade of green here and we'll go into custom. We wanted it. We're going to do everything along the same spectrum of greens here. So let's go right here and we'll make it uh, a nice pale green there. Now, now that we have that, we click OK. And here's a little secret I learned. Copy this code right up here, the HTML code, because we can use that here in a few minutes for one of the next steps we're going to do. Click OK and click OK again. There we have our nice green background. Now, what we want to do is we want to develop that dark to light colored background here. So we're going to insert an image here. Or not an image, we're going to do a shape. <laughs> There's a shape. We're going to, first thing we're going to do is get rid of that blue background. So we're going to drop it down to zero so there's no background being shown. And we're going to insert the color that we just picked for the other one. Notice how this has got the blue. All you have to do is hit Control V and it puts that code in there. Then we just hit OK and there's our, our lighter shade of green. Now we've developed a darker shade of green just by clicking on that right there. And then we go from light green to dark green. Click OK and there it is. There's our shade of background. See how that goes from dark to light? And it matches our background color, so we can just go like this. We can make it as small or as tall as we want for whatever page we happen to be on. And it's, it really is this simple. Now, we want to make it where it crosses the whole screen, but it's not an image because that takes time to upload on your website. So what we do is we copy this image here. And then uh, you open up your paint program with your computer. There's the paint. All you have to do is control V to paste that that diagram in, or that uh, image in there. We come over here and we grab this little blue dot, slide it left so it takes out that white area. And just to make sure we don't have a white area in the bottom, we want to raise up the bottom one as well, just to here. There we go. Now let's save it into our uh, WYSIWYG program so that we have it for later on. When I put in, there's my WYSIWYG program and let's just put in images here and we're going to call it green background BKGD. There we go. Okay, now it's there. All we have to do is we'll delete this because we already have it. We uh, go into our page properties, open up formatting, we come here where it says image and open this up. We go into our WYSIWYG program, our WYSIWYG folder, into our images where we put it, and where's our green background? Where are you? I know you're there somewhere. There it is, right there. We hit enter. Now, here you want to take the repeat and repeat only in a horizontal direction. There we go. Now we put that in there. We hit OK. And guess what? We just made a beautiful green background for our web page. That was simple. And just about everything with WYSIWYG is. Uh, I recommend, again, if you don't have it, please go and get it. Now, uh, again, my name is Don Hatton. I am the SEO tutor. I teach SEO for a lot of people. And my website, the SEOprimer.com, you'll find lots of tutorials on the on SEO as well as WYSIWYG and some other really cool stuff. 
If you have any questions, contact me through my website, and I'll be glad to help you out any way I can. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.